Like, I remember a guy once, like, smacked me in the face, right? You're a victim. Mm. That's my move. Smack really? me. Like, whole heart. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he caught the back. Yeah. Oh, he to give I don't think that happened to no. me. My no. arm's a little big. I don't no, want to. I just go pop. Like, full blown, like. And I was looking like either up or down. I didn't well, see it like, coming at it all. Was it the vibe? Was it like cool? Or no, it like... was the vibe. Because when it happened, I was like. <laughs> no, he. Crown. And I was like, oh, do it again. At it. And you got to be like... going through it for the, the slap. If You can't just be in the first five strokes and start slapping. No, this, was, yeah, this no. was after 20 minutes. So it's it's no literally way. all about just like, you know, like preheat. <laughs> preheat the oven. Preheat, preheat the, the oven. oven. On 350. Preheat. <laughs> For us, OP three ninety, you know, four hundred, four twenty five, preheating at four hundred twenty five degrees. You know I mean? Sometimes you got one minute. Hey, look, check it out. I gotta keep it real with y'all. If you not King Dingaling or this girl ain't head over heels about you, this ain't gonna go the way you wanted to go. You gonna smack the piss out of her, and guess what? She gonna call them people on you. It's over for you, my boy. You're going to jail. I'm keeping it real with you, bro. Some men can get away with that. Most men can't. I'm telling you, if you're trying to be on some, uh, what it is, Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever, you got to be that dude. High value, at least to her. You can't just do this to no girl you just met yesterday and you slapped the mess out of her. You're going to jail. I'm keeping it real with y'all. Married? Yes. You're cheating on your husband? Yeah, Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. We're both married. Are you cheating on your husband in Vegas? Absolutely not. Just her? Maybe. <laughs> Is she? She's cheating on her husband in Vegas. Wow. Facts. How many times you cheating on your husband? You right now. Yeah, you are kind of hot. Tell her, whoever she is, I love her already. 8 a.m. Monday, she yours. She yours at 8 a.m. This weekend, I love her. <laughs> you got a ring on your finger, though. She did good. Look. Who wants to be with no money? Nobody. Oh. Find me with money. It's an evil fucking world we live in, G. I'm telling you guys right now that if you have a real woman, she's not going to put herself in a situation like going to fucking Las Vegas with her single friends. You understand me, bro? You girl going out on girls trips all the time and fucking doing this and doing that over single friends. What the fuck you think is going on? A real woman ain't gonna do you like that. You guys gotta understand that shit. You cannot make a hoe a housewife, homie. If she's still going out and doing single activities while she is with you, she is not yours. It is just your fucking turn, motherfucker. Men need to wake the fuck up. She tells you, the bar. What, what are you doing? Why, what, men just need to have those boundaries in place and be able to stick to them. That's the problem is you guys will be beta bitches if they're, oh, yeah, why don't you do it? They do it and you're still with them. Okay, you have to set those boundaries, put them in place, and have respect for yourself. The most important thing you could do as a man is- At least it's work yeah. for Jesus, but, actually. Uh, what? What the fuck? Okay. Hey, look, uh, we're gonna play a gospel song right now. We're gonna see what you can do. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, Jesus, is, his funds never run out. Like, his dollars just keep coming. Exactly. Like, they twerking for these niggas, that's work for God. Huh? Mm, mm. I like that analogy. Yeah. Now you do for real? Yeah, so you twerk to I got. You better twerk to this motherfucking hand. Wow. 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 Uh, one thing I know about the Jamaican spot, bro, they tight with the oxtail. They tight with the oxtail. So the fact of the matter is they sleeping with each other, dog. I'm telling you. <laughs> bad. She's bad. Chat, don't do that. She, she's fine. Why would you cheat on this girl? With, with the mother, my nigga? Oh! Uh. Hold on. A mom thick as shit. Oh, I... Nigga, I'm on the nigga side. I'm not gonna lie. I would fuck the mom too. <laughs> Shit, you got me. You got me. Shit. Yes. Miss Stacy, what y'all find out? Oh my goodness. Hold on. This nigga might be on to something. After loyalty test, I'm on this nigga side. Oh! Yeah, no! Come on now, you know you knew something. Like, come on now, you're not stupid. You're not stupid. At this point, like, you 
know. Nigga, that's, there's no way that's the mom, bro. She's, she look younger than these. Stop, you stop, stop. stop. I'm smashing both of them. They both bad. Stop, stop, stop. You know the apple don't fall too far from the tree a lot of time, but look. In my short experience in life, man, I feel like guys who have the prettiest girlfriends, the they have access to the prettiest women, them be the ones that's going to definitely cheat on their girl the most, bro. These are the biggest Chad's and Tyrone's that exist because if you can pull one beautiful woman, there's other beautiful women that want you too. And a lot of those dudes going to lack self uh, self discipline. They ain't going to be able to turn down all those sweet, sweet sugar rolls like the Hodge twins would call it. You get what I'm saying? So that's just my theory. I could be wrong, but I'm saying in my experience, all the guys I know that got the best looking girls in the world, them boys definitely clapping other cheeks. It is what it is. They're exercising options. Mommy, what's that smell? That's the um the plants from outside. They smell stink. I know, it do stink. Cause I thought it was you. Stop fucking playing with me. Get the In so many words, that girl say you need to ice that fish down. You need a little more ice. So do you ladies feel like women are seriously ready for emotionally intelligent men? <laughs> no. Hell no. Kitty, Kitty, what do you think? Okay, let's talk about what emotional intelligence comes with before we even get into this conversation, okay? We're talking about you wanting a man who is tolerant, who regulates his emotions, yes. who also knows how to manage your emotions. Mm -hmm. But you're also talking about a man who knows how to navigate his sensitivities and everything else when it comes to that. Mm. that but you mean? have to consider that an emotionally intelligent man is good at cutting people off when he sees that your sensitivities bring too much reactivity. Ooh. When he sees that you cannot regulate your emotions. When he sees that you have a low tolerance. This type of man that you are asking for is a man who will walk you out the door in a heartbeat Ooh. if he feels like you are disrupting his peace. Damn. If he feels like uh, there's okay. any level of disrespect because there's a lot that comes with emotional intelligence. Yeah. Hey. So if you asking for that, you got to come with the same level of emotional intelligence as well. Hey. Okay? That comes with a number of factors so if you are a woman who knows that even though you may be sensitive to certain things like criticism rejection because you're not always going to be accepted sometimes he's going to bounce back and sometimes he's going to say I don't agree with your opinion sometimes he's going to say I don't like those thoughts sometimes he's going to say I don't like the way you speak to me if you're not ready for that don't be asking for an intelligent man they all say they want an emotionally intelligent man until one steps forward because guess what it's not what they envision in their mind. They have a different vision in their mind. What emotionally intelligent men look like is I'm not going to go back and forth with you. We ain't going to get into this toxic back and forth. And, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of women actually want toxicity. But on paper, it sounds good to have an emotionally intelligent man. They don't really want that. Hey, honey, how about you come in here and meet my new boyfriend? Not now, mama. I'm busy. Hey, champ, how are you? Oh, you don't like Champ? How about Kingslayer 14? I've not used that name in years. Oh, I know. Ten years ago, Modern Warfare 2, you drop shot me. I said I'd bang your mom. You said there's no way. But here I am. You're bending down. Are you sure you aren't going to break a hip? No, my hips are actually in better shape than your hips. You want to tell me why that is? I don't know. Maybe it's because I exercise and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, post for the picture, post for the picture. I did already. Oh, you did? And then right. she ruined it. Are you mad? Uh, you ruined it, girl. Um, no. no. Bruh, this need to be in the two-man Hall of Fame. This is the two-man highlight of the year. Did y'all not understand what just went on? I, I think we need an instant replay, bro. Let's do an instant replay. See, look, we have our point guard right here. We know damn well he can take this ISO, this one-on-one -on -one ISO, but he's getting double teamed. Gray is yapping out the mouth. So what are we going to do? Oh man, I heard you. You gotta be careful. Sometimes it's shallow. Oh yeah. Cause distraction. 
Hey, post for the picture. Post for the picture. I did already. Oh, you did? And then right. she ruined it. Oh. And then she ruined it. Oh my God. This is how I know he's a high IQ player. Not only did he realize that this is the matchup that we want, he took a man with him. Now he can run his ISO. Oh, she instantly asked, bro, does he have a girlfriend? And see, now he can run his ISO. He can blow right past her. That's the easy layup every time. My God, what a beautiful play. This needs to be in the two-man playbook. We're going to call this one Hocus Pocus. Anytime I call Hocus Pocus, I am getting double teamed. I need you to come distract one of these defenders so I can run my ISO. Nah, bro, having a great wingman is the shit because you definitely got to keep the hating, cock-blocking female friend out of your way because she will sabotage the situation, bro. And don't let her be, you know, five points below the girl you're actually trying to shoot your shot at, a.k.a. you're shooting at an eight and sh her friend is a three. You got to have a wingman because she is definitely going to call some, pa some pass interference. Okay, you talking about a, a dumb question. Let me ask you a good question because I was hurting all the way over here to ask you this question. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, you had a lyric. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, what song is this? It says, Cause I follow for figures, hollow, my hollowing triggers. Oh, Swallow shit. a nigga <laughs> like a bottle of liquor. <laughs> what did you mean by Swallow a nigga? Oh my goodness. I can't wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Swallow a nigga babe. like a bottle babe, babe, of liquor. Babe, babe. I can't wait. Um, I, can't I was wait. hurting babe, all the way babe, over here. I can't here. wait. I said, yo, please, God, just let me make it to the studio. I can't wait. Yeah. This is going to be yeah. every day. Yeah. You, better, you better be prepared every yeah. single day because no. I'm going in the archives. Oh. I'm, I'm telling no. you. As soon as know. you said that yesterday, they <laughs> sent me your, all your <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> You know, niggas on Instagram. It's funny they sent me a whole. Say, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm glad that Mason Cameron was able to put their differences aside and come together and get this money because they used to be friends, especially when they was playing basketball back in Harlem and everything like that. They was tight. And then the music split them up and everything like that. But now they older, much more mature. Mature. <laughs> but, man, guys, if it's people in your life that you, you know, they really didn't do nothing crazy to you, man, and y'all still beefing, man, let that shit go, man. Be an adult for once. If you invite me to your house on a late night tip and I show up with a bonnet on and Crocs, you know why I'm here. Stop playing. Don't be trying to get all into me and ask, oh, have you seen they clone Tyrone? No, I'm trying to see your Tyrone. Pull it out. <laughs> Stop playing with me. I get it. Y'all be trying to be respectful. I love that. But baby, I came with the bonnet already on. Now ain't the time. If I would've came with my spending night bag and like, you know, my bonnet and like, you know, my big t-shirt and my toothbrush. Okay, cool. We got some time to chill and relax. But I already came suited up. <laughs> I already came with my uniform, bro. Like, what, what, what are we doing here? Why are we wasting the time? Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. You thought it was cool to take me to the Cheesecake Factory? What's wrong with Cheesecake? Nothing. It's saying you have a budget, but it's cool. That's what it's giving. I thought you had motion. Come on. So tell me about yourself. Uh, I normally don't eat at the Cheesecake Factory type shit. Is this going to be a problem? No, nah, I just wish you would have told me I would have dressed down or something like that. But it's cool. So what, what do you normally get here? Uh, I don't know. It's like a lot of things. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Their brown bread is bomb. Um, their pasta is good. Not you giving me a sales pitch. So what made you DM me? I mean, you look good. Uh -huh. And I like the way you carry yourself. Uh -huh. And I knew you like that bread. How many times is it? I'm trying to bulk up so I get bigger. Oh, you don't have to do nothing. You look good just the way you are. Oh, look at this agreeing. <laughs> you appreciate that. That's I got good. it. Yeah, hold on. Let me get a picture first. I thought you didn't like this place. Girl, I'm not tagging this location. Be for real. <laughs> the food look good, though. I had such a good time with you. Oh, I love that for you. That's what's up. So when can we do this again? I'm going to let you know. You know, I'm a busy man, but I got you, though. I'm going to call okay, you. Well, give me some sugar. All right, bet. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to hit you, though. My DMs are closed. I'm not going on dates anymore. These women are out of control, bro. Man, where'd she take you on a date at? Bro, she took me to Cheesecake Factory like I'm not a bad nigga. Okay, mastro me, please. Oh, uh, man, she out of pocket, bro. But how was the food? I ain't never ate there. I mean, me neither. But I mean, it was cool. I'm full off the bread. 
Nah, this the one right here, bro. Like, for real, this is how men feel when women take this route. It's really annoying. So, if you felt some type of way watching this dude do this, it was a skit, obviously. But if it triggered you, that's how men feel, right? First off, we ain't doing this bodysuit thing right now. Because, gosh damn, please don't do that. It's 7 in the dang morning. That's number one. Number two... Make me some damn breakfast, please, because I'm hungry and I want to eat it. Uh. You, you golfed all day yesterday? Okay. So you make us. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you want. Wearing that. Gosh, <laughs> You know who's a great woman in this world? Yeah. Dee Devlin is Conor McGregor's wife. She had supported Conor McGregor from day one. He was on welfare and she was working full time to help that man out. And you can see when you watch these interviews with him, that woman is like blindly loyal to McGregor in yeah. a great way. And he says it all the time. If I didn't have this great woman with me, there is no way I would have been able to ascend to such great heights. When you're a man and you have a good woman by your side mm. that does not give you stress mm. and she makes you feel safe and she knows that you like the you, world is yours. There's no treachery. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why these guys conquer. We go to the four things a husband loves in his wife. Number one, on top of the list, there is nothing more important than just number one, sisters. Respect. Now you might say, but what about me? I need respect too. Yes. The respect we're talking about with the man is a little bit different. It's a little bit stronger. It's a little bit more serious. What are we talking about respect here? Respect his leadership. Respect that he's your protector. Respect that he's your provider. The duty which Allah gave him, that one extra degree. Number two, the man likes his wife to look good for him. The biggest thing a man hates is when a wife looks bad for him at home and looks good for everyone else outside. Number four, shows confidence in him and his abilities. So the sister appreciates his efforts, she appreciates his help, she appreciates his tiredness. I said this last time that randomly say to your husband, I appreciate your effort, wallah, I couldn't do it without you. Say it, wallahi, you will pump him up and he make him amazing. Number four, she speaks well of him to her family and his family. She doesn't go to her mum and dad and says, and he's, he's a this and he's a that. No, 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 no. You will make your life hell. Not from him, from your family. And lastly, physical touches. Men love physical touches from their wife. In text like, oh, you cheating? I don't know why women act like they're not doing them. They want to put all that stress on you. Like you ain't liking niggas' pictures and liking niggas on every other block. When you smoke... Never fall or feel like you're, it's you. <laughs> that shit is, <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> Quick story time. When I used to work at this restaurant, this dude that I'm real cool with was smashing this girl who had a boyfriend. And the boyfriend cheated on her. And she posted on Facebook and Instagram, betrayal is one of the worst things ever. I just, it's hard to trust anyone these days. What? My boy been smashing you for the better half of a year. And now when your boy catch some some get back, you want to take the social media and say you're a good woman and this doesn't you don't deserve this. Come on, man. Hey, you know what's funny? What? My girl really believes we just friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man does too. Like, how dumb do you have to be? Stupid. Does it even really feel like we broke up? Nah, like, if anything, I feel like we stronger than ever. <laughs> <laughs> when I go back home to my girl, it really feel like I'm cheating on you. Nah, same. <sighs> That's my man, Cole. You about to answer it? Nah. <laughs> If a woman is not glad to shut up, if she not glad to go sit down somewhere, if she's not glad to just be in your presence, she is not the woman for you. My biggest regret in life is um, not using my time on this earth and more time. Just fucking bitches. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Old man got regrets. He said he should have smashed more women during his life. I ain't mad at him. It is what it is.
Nah, mom shook the piss out the little dude, man. Good for her, though, bro. Because when I be going to these baseball games and football games, man, listen, most of the mamas I see don't even look like they could do a lap around a diamond. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Yet alone shake somebody. Don't get into one while you in the middle of nursing school. As hard as this might be to process, there are quite a few men that hate you. And when you start to do things that you're leveling up with education, finances, or what have you, it will upset their inner demons and be a reminder of failure. And I know because I used to date men like that. When I applied for nursing school the first time, I was waitlisted. My ex-boyfriend told me that I was stupid. And I was stupid because I had to study so much. Like anyone just wakes up and has the knowledge of a nurse. Mind you, this man was a barber working in someone else's shop. No shade to the barbers. Hear me when I say that all men are not bad, but some are evil. And they're plotting on your downfall. Groups of women who are taking the high value men. The three groups of women. Latinas, Asians, and Eastern Europeans. These women are taking all the high value men, no matter where I go across this country. Here are three things you can do to help your marriage as a wife. Number one, have lots of sex. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Number two, pray together. Couples that pray together stay together. It's literally statistically proven. And number three, submit to your husband. When you submit to your husband and the roles are exactly as they should be, your marriage is so much more harmonious and you will be such a peaceful wife when your husband leaves. Hold on, let me do my impression. <gasps> <laughs> That's the face right there. I'm leaving for my 5 a.m. workout. <laughs> you do it. You know, for to come home, take a two hour nap. <laughs> you just did it. You know, go back to the gym at like 5 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and then have some ice cream and go to sleep. We always gotta scream and stretch. Uh, uh, why you be doing that? My hips, man. <laughs> <laughs> This was today's segment of Positive Vibes right here, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I just like to put some positivity out there, man. Man, shout out to Bronny, man. Shout out to his brother. Listen, this is all you can really hope for, man. Some kids, they grow up to respect you, admire you, they love you, right? And they're actually your kids. Biologically, DNA-wise, they belong to you. That's What more can you ask for, bro? Great relationship. Man, I got to give y'all that raw, uncut, real but at the same time, try to balance it a little bit. You know what I mean? I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to get at y'all on the next one.